Hi friends, I am Jitendra. Today we will going to see how to connect Apache Kafka with Mule ESB. So basically, Mule ESB provide a connector to connect Apache Kafka topic. Okay. So basically, what is Apache Kafka? Apache Kafka is nothing. It's a messaging queuing system. It's a highly reliable, highly distributed. It's a high available. It's uh, okay, and it's a fault tolerance messaging queuing system. It can accept any number of message at a time. Okay, it can stream the any number of message at a time. It has a producer and the consumer. Producer who will send the message to the Kafka topic, and consumer will okay consume the message from the Apache Kafka. There can be a multiple consumer who can okay consume a single message. We are going to cover all those scenario. First thing we will learn how to install Apache Kafka on your Windows machine. Okay, the so what you have to do. Okay, open the Internet Explorer. The first thing make sure. You have installed the JDK version 1.8. In my case, I have installed 1.8. And go to my my computer properties. Okay. Go to advanced settings. Environmental variable. So make sure your Java home path is set like that. C program Java JDK. Right. So this is very important. And Apache Kafka require a Java JDK. Next thing, go to Internet Explorer. Go to Google. The first thing you have to download Zookeeper. Zookeeper is nothing. It establishes the connection or communication between consumer, producer, and Apache Kafka. Apart from that, it also monitor the Apache Kafka system. Okay. Search Apache Kafka download. Okay, you have to search for Apache Kafka download. Click on this website, and you will see various version of Apache Kafka. You can install any of them. So in my case today, we will going to use 2.10. 0.9 something like that 2.11.9. The next thing, again go to Google. The first thing you have to download Zookeeper. So say Zookeeper download. Okay, click here on Apache. So you click here on download. You can see the uh, once you click on this any of the site, you can see the various version of your Zookeeper. You can download any one of them. Other thing you will require the 7Z to unzip. Your uh, file which you have downloaded from Apache Kafka and Zookeeper. Fine, I have already downloaded, so I am not going to download it again. Okay, first thing we will going to set up our Zookeeper. So for that, I have this uh, .tr.gz file. I will say extract the Zookeeper 3.1 4.10. Let's wait till it extracting the Zookeeper. Okay, let's wait. Okay, so my zookeeper has been extracted successfully. Let me open the zookeeper folder. What I will do? I will cut this zookeeper folder and I will paste it to the C drive. Also, make sure your zookeeper home is set as an environmental variable. So let me check zookeeper underscore home. So it's a path where you have zookeeper folder. In my case, my zookeeper folder has been pasted, copied to the copied to the, the this. This is the folder. So this is the path you have to set in the environmental variable. Next thing, go to path. At the end, you can add one more path. Percentage percentage zookeeper underscore home percentage slash bin. Okay. So you are saying this is my zookeeper till that you are adding the path. Fine. The next thing, go to com file. Rename ju underscore sample dot cfg to ju. Apart from that, open this file. Search for the temp location in this say, tmp tmp slash. You have to change this path. Okay. In my case, I'll put this path. I have one uh, path available with me. So let me cancel, cancel, cancel it. Okay. I will add this path. Zookeeper 3.410 slash data. Whatever version of Zookeeper you have added that slash data. So I will go to zoo.cfg. I will remove this much of the path. I will paste it. I will say save. So I have saved my Zookeeper path. Next thing, open the command prompt and start your Zookeeper server. I will say zk server. Once I put this command, it will start my Zookeeper. So by default, Zookeeper will 
enabled on port 2181 if you want to change the port you can do it okay so you can see to the port 2181 if you want to change you can do it you have to do the changes in ju.cfg so let me search it 2181 so you have to change the port here if you want to run zookeeper on another port fine okay so we have set up our zookeeper and zookeeper is already started fine the next thing we have to set up apache kafka server so extract this kafka.g here uh, kafka.gz file okay so if you go inside that you can see one file so this file can be unzip or extract using 7z software so 7zip i will say extract to kafka 2.1 i will say yes to all okay let me check let me check everything here so cut i will cut this folder i will go to c drive and i will paste it here okay so i have done that now i will go to f drive i will remove all the zookeeper and kafka folder i don't need it that now now i will go to c drive i have kafka folder i will go to config i will go to server.properties you have to do some changes in log server.properties file say logs so you have to change this part that slash temp okay so you can point to the kafka folder slash temp kafka logs this is the path 2.11.9 fine so let me open my server.properties going here i will change it the path for file logs.dirs now save it so your server.property file is ready okay so let me start kafka server open the command prompt now say go to back say copy this path go here and say cd this path now i have some command this is the command to start a kafka server just copy this path paste it here once you will paste it here and say enter it will going to start a kafka server for you okay your kafka server has been started you can see it here fine the third thing we have to create one topic in your kafka server so open one more command prompt and we will create one topic which we will require to connect from mule esb and okay go to this path kafka bin slash window copy this path and say cd paste say enter okay now you have to run one command so i have command kafka underscore topic dot bat create zookeeper is running on this server i want replication factor one i want one partition i will give a topic name equals to mule esb is my topic name fine i will copy this and i will paste it on command prompt once i will paste it on command prompt it will create a topic called mule esb okay you can see created topic mule esb now i will go to any point studio what i will do i will create one new application file new mule project fine i will say apache kafka mule app okay i will keep mule server runtime is 3.8 rest of the setting i am not going to touch i will say finish once i will say finish it will create a empty application for us Okay, it has already created what we will do we will create two flow one is for consumer and one is for publisher so i will say http okay now i will going to configure my http connector i will give a, a flow i will change the flow name first i will say apache kafka producer this is the basically we will going to publish a message to the topic do the connector configuration click on this add button i will say okay for path i will say kafka for method allow i will say post okay logger i will put one logger okay here i can say message publish i will say has a load fine now look for kafka connector by default kafka 
Kafka connector is not available with your Mule Studio. So you have to install from Mule Exchange, uh, any point exchange. Click here. <coughs> okay, once loading exchange. Okay, it may ask you for username and password, and sometimes it not ask if you have already logged in. For me, I am not logged in. It will ask for the username and password. I will give my username and password. Okay, I will sign in. Let's wait while it's connecting to the AnyPoint Exchange. See, okay, it was connecting to the AnyPoint Exchange. So you can simply click on Install. Once you click on Install, after that you accept the agreement and it will ask, once installation is complete, it will ask you to the restart the AnyPoint Studio. You can do that. I will close it because it's already installed in my... Now I will say Apache Kafka. Here, I have to do some connector configuration. I will click on this Add button. I will say Bootstrap Server. So my Bootstrap Server, by default, Apache Kafka run on 9092 port. So local host so i will say 9092 here consumer i will say consumer dot properties here producer dot proper properties fine so what i'm saying consumer dot properties and producer dot properties these are the setting we have to do i will say okay now select the operation. What do your operation? I will say producer. What should be your topic name? I will say my topic name is Mule ESB, which I have created using the command prompt. Fine. Next thing you have to give your key. You have to provide some unique key every time when you are sending messages to the Kafka server. So I will give say you pick the server dot date time dot get millisecond. Fine. This is just key. You can provide any expression whatever you want, but it should be unique. Okay. This is my producer is ready. Now I will, what I will do, I will make a consumer flow. Okay. So I'm going to configure it. I don't have to configure it. The, the settings again, this already has been picked up. Now I will say consumer. You have to provide the topic name. I will say mule ESB. The, how many partition we have given? We have one. So see, if you run the command, you're given the partitions equal one. So we have to select the same. Now next thing I will say logger. And here I will say message consumed. Okay, I will say has p load. Save it. Fine. Now next thing I will save my output to some file location. I will say source test resources slash consumer. I will create one folder called consumer in source test resources. I will say right click new folder. I will say source test resources. Now I will say I am very sorry. I have to just give a consumer. I will say finish. My consumer folder is ready. Now I will try to start the application. Once we start the application, it will not going to deploy. It may give error. I will going to show you why it's giving the error. Okay, it may asking the consumer dot properties not found. So you have to copy the uh, consumer dot properties and the producer of properties into the source main resources. From where you can copy, go to config, you have two files dot consumer dot properties and the producer dot properties. Copy those two files and paste it in source main resources folder. Fine, we are going to open the consumer dot properties. Nothing. It just connect some connection information like what is your zookeeper by default zookeeper run on 2181 port this is all those things now producer property contain like uh, your Kafka server port numbers and everything okay now I will again stop and I will try to start the application once again I will change the flow name. I will save it. Let me run once, once again. Let's wait while application is deploying.
okay this time i think it will it should deploy successfully okay the application has been deployed now what i will do i will use the postman okay so let me remove all this data i will going to pass a simple string message i will just send the one message to the publisher as soon as i soon to send the message to the uh, by a publisher it, the consumer will pick the message and store in the file location let me send it the message has been picked up see you refresh this you should see one message in the consumer see fine so what happen we have post the message using the producer flow the producer will send the message to the apache kafka uh, okay and from the consumer flow will pick the message and save from the file location we can see the logs okay this is the message which we has been picked and finally it was seen the message has been sent to the file location let me put some i will put comma and i will copy this message just i will send it now you should see the second file in the consumer folder okay this is what now we will see now we will start one producer and one consumer from command prompt so then we can see like how we can send the message to the multiple uh, how can message sent by multiple producer and can be consumed by the multiple consumer okay, let me open one more command prompt Okay. I will go till path bin windows copy this. I will say cd paste. Now I have command to start a consumer flow, a producer flow first. I will say mule esb. This is my command to start a producer. Let me copy this. So I will paste it here. Enter. Okay, now I will put some message from here. So I will say, "Hi, I am Jitendra, sending message from command prompt." Enter. Okay, as soon as I send the message, so you can see the message has been picked by our consumer flow directly this time. See, "Hi, I am Jitendra, sending message from the command prompt." fine this you can send the message from command prompt as well as from new flow yeah, okay now i will going to start our consumer flow from command prompt copy this one minute let me open the command prompt first okay let me copy this path fine i will say cd Paste. For running a consumer flow, you can say, "Apka console consumer dot zookeeper. Zookeeper is nothing. Uh, it's a local host two one eight one and the topic name." Okay. So I'll paste it here. Now let me send some message. This is mule esb. Okay. So let's wait. Hi. See, so you can see hi is coming on the consumer flow also. This is mule ESB. See enter. So you can see the message in the other command prompt in the consumer. Let me verify if we have received that message here also. See, this is mule ESB. Hi, everything. So you can see the message has been picked. By the multiple consumer. Now we will see one HTTP request. We will going to send this message to the producer flow. Now this message has been sent to the producer flow. Let me refresh. Okay, you can see the message. You will able to see the message of command prompt also. See. Okay, this message has been picked up by both consumer. One is running on the command prompt, and one is running through the mule ESB. Okay, so if you, thanks for watching video. If you like my video, just subscribe to it.